Hey guys, let's talk about Conspiracy 2. The prices have rebounded quite nicely. Uh, this is one example of a card that is now worth $25. There was a point in time where you could get Inquisitions for $2.50. You could get this card for about $9, under $9. That time has moved on. Conspiracy 2 is a very interesting set because... Uh, what happened was it was right next to Kaladesh. Kaladesh being a standard, being a poplar, being a widely open set with the masterpieces, the hyped Chandra, the four planeswalkers. As soon as Kaladesh came out, people stopped drafting and opening and buying Conspiracy 2. And that's what happened to the price. The price has reflected a not a unlimited product the product is unlimited but the price has reflected that people are not opening or drafting the set as much one of the strongest cards in the set definitely one of the best cards in edh for edh i'm not surprised to see him at 25 dollars. he probably is a 20 dollar card i don't know if he's going to go much higher but a lot of conspiracy 2 pricing has stabilized which is fantastic to people who have a lot of it definitely a great set many great reprints and many awesome new cards including the addition of a ghost rare but overall the set will be fine there's always like this type of panic and stuff but i'm pretty sure wizard of the coast knew what they were doing putting kaladesh so close to conspiracy 2 and it worked i mean the prices are exactly what i expected prices to be long term. Anyway, bye guys.